The five Indians are said to be amongst the 50 people who lost their lives in the deadliest terror attack to have struck New Zealand. Now, the Indian High Commissioner has tweeted confirming the death count of the Indian nationals releasing their names as well. The High Commissioner of India has tweeted, and I quote him here, with a very heavy heart, we share the news of the loss of precious lives of our five nationals in this ghastly terror attack in Christchurch. The tweet also mentions the names of those who were killed by the gunmen. The High Commission has also announced that the New Zealand immigration has set up a dedicated web page to expedite the visas for family members of the Christchurch victims. The Chief Minister of Kerala had confirmed yesterday about the death of the 25-year-old woman. The second man to have succumbed to his injuries is said to be Musa Wali Patel. The Suleiman, his brother Haji Ali Patel, confirmed this as saying that he had died after battling severe bullet injuries in a hospital. And also the family of a man named Faraz Ehsan has confirmed that Faraz died while undergoing treatment in a hospital. Ehsan was injured in shooting in the mosque in the Christchurch terror attack. And also Pakistan's High Commissioner has confirmed the death toll to be six, where six Pakistani nationals were killed in the deadly terror attacks in New Zealand. The Pakistani envoy has mentioned that they've been trying to determine whether the three other missing Pakistanis are also amongst the fatalities of the terror attack. Now, the Pakistan High Commission in Wellington is helping New Zealand government to assist the families of the victims in procuring visas if required or in repatriation of the bodies back to Pakistan.